get around the backside of the fullbacks and really get after uh, Todd Donovan as he pushes forward. Yeah, it's hot into this game. Oh, how did he get through that? Lays it off, Montero. Poor ball, and Levesque. This ball just laid on the carpet. Levesque not... ...with Ziggy Schmidt about 45 minutes ago, and he said, you know, absolutely, we want to test Perk. We want to make him make decisions, be it through crosses or shots. Let's test him, and let's just see what those nerves are and like. That, and that's really so true, Rob. You, you know how to test a goalkeeper. It's not just the shots, but the crosses, those in-between spaces, the dangerous area where you put the ball. Keepers have to make the uh, decisions early, pass the midfield, find them. And then also for Seattle, just testing the keeper, really. Well, Brian Perk, good goalkeeper. He's done very well so far early on, but he has not been tested. Game plan is to see what he's got. Perk did. He continues, Rob. Nice. And goes back to playoff games and everything else here being tested. Brian Perk with a difficult ball back from Todd Tonovan. Rosales on that right side. I want to expose that space too much. Galaxy have allowed only one goal off of set pieces this season, fewest in Major League Soccer. And that came actually off a throw-in. We saw New York a couple nights ago with all their problems through the season, defending set pieces and corner kicks. Seattle trade on New York a couple games ago. Waddle Alonzo, quick outlet, Levesque. And a back pass, Donovan Perk. Blasts it out. Their U.S. Men's National Team coach. Roger Levesque, the little chip. Montero, that might be a handball, and I think it is. Crossing with the staff, who wants to step up. Looks like Freddie Montero, but Brian Burke will get tested early here. You see here, this ball played back from Levesque. Bounces up, there it is. Omar Gonzalez with the arm up. A little dynamic bicycle kick from Freddie Montero. This will be the third penalty kick chance for Seattle this season. Brad Evans, who's not on the field right now, has taken both and made them both. Montero, save Perk! How about that for your first MLS appearance? Well, if that doesn't lift your confidence, I'm not sure what will, but Brian Perk comes up huge for the Galaxy in his MLS debut today and I asked him the question okay who takes your penalties now when Brad Evans isn't there he said well I'm not too sure about Freddie Montero it could be probably third a little chip on the shoulder the the self-motivation of a player that you you always need that Rob who wants to fight compete all the time but what he does is sometimes he lulls teams to sleep and then he pops up and surprises you sometimes he lulls himself to sleep too I think very good point another look at that save by Brian Perk. guess right Got down low. It wasn't struck well by Freddy Montaro. He hits it. Goalkeeper's height. It's not low. It's not high. It's in that middle range. That's where the keeper's going to get his arms outstretched. He anticipates well Brian Perk. Galaxy fans know well that Mike McGee would have saved that one as well. It's interesting too, Rob. For sure, Mike McGee would have saved that. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but it was interesting too. When you go back to the actual penalty given from Ricardo Salazar, I mean, it's not like he sticks his hand out to smack it down. He's from close up. Omar Gonzalez, a bit harsh. We saw two penalty kicks earlier tonight in Seattle. Dangerous ball off the head of New England. John Kennedy Hurtado. Wow, he should finish that. Here's the save. Not very well struck, Rob. Not in the corner, not low, not high. But Brian Perk, he's on fire. Very excited to make that save early in the game. You get tested, you come up big. That's a great lift for your club. A wedding anniversary. That's right, 35 awesome. years. Saw his wife fool us today. Thanks. Ryan Perk right now, the focus is on there. You can tell he was ready, Rob, when he came out for warm-ups. We always speak about players, their body language. Well, he looked very, very good, very positive from the get-go. Chad. Donovan, Gonzalez. So a big central defensive pair of serious goalkeeping issues and we broached the name of Marcus Hahnemann who's out of contract U.S. national team keeper that that would probably be a nice fit for and they have to come from behind actually against the LA Blues in that open cup game it sets up this Levesque from Stanford flicks it on Rosales all side flag is up Sala who retired FC Dallas goalkeeper and came an agent and said look you got to take a look at this guy give him an opportunity and wow the rest is history. But the genesis of that conversation between those two gentlemen took place at the Combine 
in a restroom. Burke sends this one long. Well, he's got a healthy leg. On Hell took a little bump as he flicked that one on. Keller. On the docket. Portland, Seattle. Next Sunday, the MLS Game of the Week presented by Adidas. You can see it lot. Uh, things so dire in the LA Nets that they had to call up Kevin Guppy from the MLS goalkeeper pool. So he is the backup. So we have a, the 18th minute. And Brian Perk, UCLA grad, stoning Montero from the PK spot. Perk claimed off waivers from Philadelphia in August of last year. Played collegially at UCLA, just north of us. Had two saves Tuesday night in the Galaxy 2-1 U.S. Open Cup victory. You see Keller? 593 appearances. Unbelievable. Unreal. First appearance in MLS tonight in league play. Those, and and those 593 appearances, but maybe something even more into the front office. This team, the LA Galaxy, now they represent a chance for us to get a win against one of those solid playoff teams, one of those proven franchises, something that Seattle needs, something that they want. You know, they, they want to be like the LA Galaxy. I like when the young lady, for, I think it was from Equatorial Guinea, literally picked up the ball, held it for a few seconds while the game was going on, dropped it to her keeper who picked it up and played it out, and no call. <laughs> when we mentioned David Beckham, there he is. I spoke to him in the hallway yesterday, Rob. He said, look, with seven assists also leads them with seven cautions. Can have at what stage maybe Bruce Arena would like to use David Beckham, and he just brings a different dynamic, his accuracy. Brian Perk with the save and play of the match. A PK save in the 25 goals, tied for second most in MLS. But they also have a very respectable and organized defenses to speak of. And right now, it's the defenses that seem to be winning. I agree, Rob. And I think that we we've really haven't seen either goalkeeper tested except for the penalty that Brian Perk did handball, really. But the penalty, and Brian Perk, well, he just comes up. Chance of happening, but an interesting thought by a, a young man who has really embraced his time here in the States and particularly in Seattle. Barrett, off his chest. Immediately in the area. Franklin, back pass. Perk, speaking of UCLA products. Levesque up there in the back post. Also Jeff Park. Looking for Grotto and it was Perk confidently and cleanly off his line. He does well. Very decisive, Brian Perk. Great job. Safe to say the nerves have exited the building for Brian Perk. Well, the best thing that could have happened. Newport Beach, California. Slides that one in. Dangerous. LA's got a great breakable position that they're in. Free Bird. Back in. Burhalt. Riley. And another save. Freddie Montero had a little bit of a quad issue but didn't play last week against New England. Look at this challenge here. Perk. And came out. Greg Berhalter under some pressure there, Rob. Sorry. Perk, just the second goalkeeper in MLS history that recorded his first career save on a penalty kick. The other, I don't Matt. Know. Matt Napoleon of Miami. He had two. ESPN's MLS Game of the Week by Adidas. Rob Stone, John Hartz, glad you're here with us as we wrap up a busy stretch of MLS activity on this 4th of July forward line with Roger Levesque with Freddie Montero being subbed out. All of Hell's goals, right foot strikes. Freebird! Freebird, he kind of drifts in here. Just Landon Donovan takes his eye off him and leaves him that space. Long-range effort. Chance for Seattle. Noonan. 
floated in far post. And it were yeah. the big defensive presence not in there for this corner kick. Good hand save brought to you by Allstate. Came in the 18th minute. Brian Perk in his first professional game, making his first career save. And you know it's difficult. Oh, that's a tough ball, though, Freeberg. I mean, Rosales just worked so hard. Two traffic in the program. Wall looking for Evans. And Perk is there again. Perk has done quite well in his debut. And Too many Seattle options in the box here. Normally you would see somebody like her. Driven ball still alive. And that is all she wrote. Brian Perk with the shutout in his debut. Well, again, that ball being whipped in there. Tyson Wall, he pings it here. You see Jeff Park to the far post. Well, he does keep it alive. There's nobody there to pick up that loose ball, but last moment there. Might have come off the hand of Park as well as he tried to keep it in, Rob, but last ditch effort.